Now, across Texas, the issue is... I'm Stephen Dial in Dallas. I'm Greg Grugan in Houston. I'm Rudy Koski in Austin, and this is Texas, the issue is... Now we know there has been a lot of issues to talk about on the domestic side of things, but a lot's going on internationally, especially tensions rising with Russia and China. I talked one-on-one -on -one to former ambassador to NATO and former Texas Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison. It is a time of tension, no question about it. And I think we have to focus more on foreign policy than maybe we have in the last few years. Ambassador, there's a lot that's been going on in terms of foreign relations with the United States. You have still the fallout from the withdrawal from Afghanistan. We're still talking about Russia and Ukraine, the surveillance balloon from China. How would you rate uh, the, the nation's foreign policy or foreign relations right now? We need to much more focus on our foreign policy and especially our deterrence uh, activities. That means a strong defense, investing in defense, uh, showing that when we say we're going to do something, we will do it. Um, and also uh, making sure that our allies are with us, that we are united on the big areas that we will have to face together. What do you make of the whole Chinese surveillance balloon? One, do you think we should have shot it down while it was over U.S. soil? And two, do you think this could and will continue to make the tensions even bigger between the United States and China? Well, I, I think that it would have been better if we had shot it down before it even came into our our territory, uh, our lower 48, when it was over uh, the sea in, in Alaska. But, uh, you know, I also think you can't be... Um, you, you can't be critical when something hasn't happened before, but I do think letting it go all the way across our country and take all the pictures that it was taking uh, was not the right approach. And I think we've learned from it, and I think it won't happen again. We're relying on China for certain things. China has relied on us, but we're also not friends. What do you make of the current state between the United States and China? China depends in their domestic economy on trade with the U.S., with the EU, with the Asia-Pacific nations. And I think that that is going to be our leverage to temper their potential adversarial activities, especially as it regards to Taiwan. And I think we need to, to build on that as a way to seek a, uh, a relationship with China, which is not a friendship, but is a, uh, a relationship that can work. The war between Russia and Ukraine is still going on. Republicans and Democrats here in the United States have supported uh, funding and aiding Ukraine, but some are starting to get a little fatigued and saying, we, we can't just keep writing a blank check. What do you make of us continuing to assist Ukraine? And is there, does there have to be a kind of a end date to this as far as our continuing to write a check to aid Ukraine? As we face Russia and then a potential adversary of China, we need the democracies and the strong economies of the world to be with us so that we can temper the activities of China by showing China that it will be too expensive to make a run on Taiwan. And that's what will make a difference to them. So we need to stick with Ukraine as a message to Russia to stop it now. You cannot invade sovereign nations that are your neighbors and get by with it. I think our foreign policy has to stay bipartisan, and united with our allies. Those are the key things that will be our strength to build up our defenses so that we deter activities by the despotic nations like Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea. And they need to see strength. It's, it's all that will affect them. Talking isn't gonna help. 
but showing strength of defense and deterrence is what they understand and what will win the deterrence And that was the interview with former ambassador to NATO, Kay Bailey Hutchison. Greg Grugan, what's your one word? Stephen, my word is vigilance. Okay, Rudy Koski. That's a good word, uh, Greg. I thought you were going to steal mine. I'm going hyphenated. My word, big stick. Of course, Rudy has to break the rules. 